Sylvia Fernwood. I guess this is Sensiviria season for me because most of my snake plants need to be repotted. And yeah, this one, this one is one of my favorites, but I say that for all my snake plants. So yeah, I just love those plants. I like the, that genus of plants and actually it's reclassified to Dracaenas as I mentioned many times before, but I still call them Sensiverias. I'm just used to, to call them like that. So yeah, I guess I will do it forever. And this one, I have actually mother plant, larger. Maybe I will put a photo here in the corner. I have large fernwood, but I took some propagations from that one. And from those, I got all of this. And I had only five of these strains, or how to call these leaves. And yeah, now, now I have a bunch of new leaves all around and she's growing like crazy, she really likes her life. So today I decided to report her because I think that she is rebound a little bit and I want to give her fresh soil also because she was never reported from this and I will plant her in this spot. Actually, I had my Boncel snake plant in this pot in my last video, but yeah, now I decided to put this one here because I like how it looks. And I will use mix of potting mix, basic potting mix, mixed with a little bit of perlite and sand, as I do for all my snake plants. So we will see how this will go, but I bet that this one will grow like crazy because it's really tough one. Snake plants are tough plants, but this one is just crazy. Whatever you do, if you forget about her, if you overwater her, I overwatered this so many times, but the point about overwatering is that you uh, can't have too much soil in the pot. If you have too much of soil then they will rot because the moist will stay for too long and if you have just a little bit of soil and if your plant is root bound then she will forgive you because water will just seep through so fast that she won't have time to rot so yeah that's the trick in any way it's better to not overwater your snake plants. They like to be dry. So I dry them all through between waterings. And yeah, it's better to forget about them than to overwater them. And as I suspected, I'm not sure if you can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous. She really has so much roots that there is almost no soil here so it's a good thing that i decided to do this because she will appreciate some nutrients and now i will top it off with just pure potting mix because i like the look of it on the top and on the bottom i always mix perlite and sand just to improve drainage so yeah that's those are my tricks for snake plants and i actually don't keep this one in bright light because i have that mother plant on bright light and for this one i just thought well, if she survives, she survives. It doesn't matter that much if something happens. So I just wanted to try, to be honest, to see how, how much she can endure. And she is doing perfectly. 
I'm sure that people that are that visit my channel before noticed that I have new IKEA cabin here or I'm not sure how to call this on English but yeah I need to get that one for my begonias because my air is extremely dry in winter seasons because I need to have heat on 24 7 so yeah I need to do something for my begonias to help them with moisture and that's why I bought this one and this snake plant actually lives on the top of that so it's really really tough one she doesn't mind that there is no much light on the top of that but it's enough because this is west facing window so I guess it's just perfect amount for the snake plant and don't get me wrong snake plants needs a lot of light people say that it's tolerant for minimum minimum light but it's always better to keep them in really really nice light and I try to do that I give them a lot of light and they produce a bunch of new shoots when I do that so yeah snake plants need a lot of light they will just die slower if you put them in less light I guess they won't die immediately but they will slow die, slowly die. So here it is. I think it's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful plant. So now I have two of them. I'm starting to get two of everything. So I don't know. <laughs> I just want to have backup just in case if something happens to my original plants. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it, I guess. And here it is. I hope you like this plant and this video and thank you so much for being here with me. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.